pets, we're on our way. We're not too big and we're not too tough. But when we work together, we got the right <laughs> stuff. Go water pets. To the song. Welcome back to Rev and Dave. I don't know what oh, we with that intro. Yes, and we got all of that. Oh, what? <laughs> I okay. hope you're proud. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> well, welcome. <laughs> I thought you were like saving the, the file from the previous recording. And I was, well, I was. Saving them myself. And, then, and then right before you started singing, I pressed record. You didn't tell me, you bastard. <laughs> That's going in the episode. <laughs> All right, it's fine. <laughs> so I guess we're going to treat this like a boring visual novel so we can actually make some progress, and I'll use this kind of in, uh, intonation. Intonation, is that the word I'm looking for? I don't even no, know. But, Let's... No, give them character. Give them enunciation and, and, and syllables and other things. All right, let's continue with the trial. Mm, yes, let's. Well, let's, let's continue with the trial, shall we? Uh, yes, I believe the accused motive is clear to everyone. Yes, quite. She was a uh, she was a murderer. Oh wait, she was not looking good. <laughs> she was a murderer, but wait, she was mur the judge is senile. <laughs> yeah, it's just where am I? <laughs> Who are you? Maybe I should run for public office. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. For the mm. moment, why not? Next question: You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Like, um, well, did you or did you not? Uh, <laughs> well, like, maybe I did and maybe I didn't, brah. What's it to you? Oh, shit. Hey, what, what do I do? Um, what are you gonna do? I'm, I'm an honest man. I'll send him a yeah, signal. Why not take the moral high ground? Yeah. Tell the truth! Uh, like, yeah, yeah, you know, I, I, I was there. I, I went. Yeah, man. Order! Shut up! Yeah, so I'll have some fries with that water as well. Do you guys still have those little... On the phone with... Do you guys still have those little apple pies? Oh, oh yes, I'll take ten of those. <laughs> I gotta work on this figure. <laughs> uh, oh well, Mr. Botch. Um, <clears throat> dude, chill, chill. God, fucking boomer. She wasn't home, man. <laughs> so like, I didn't see her, bruh. Uh, Your uh, Honor, uh, objection. The defendant is lying clearly. Lying. Yes, it's where you do, where you say something that you know to be untrue, lying. The prosecution would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. <laughs> well, that simplifies matters. Who's your witness? Let's end this trial already. The man who found the victim's body. <laughs> Nothing. I don't like it. <laughs> it's like... Mr. Payne, you make me feel rather uncomfortable. Why do you keep looking at me like that? Where did you get that knife? Mr. <laughs> Payne, back to your side of the door! <laughs> just it's just before me. <laughs> stabby, stabby. Stabby, stabby. <laughs> We're gonna put a smile on that face. Watch the world burn. I love you. You love me. The okay. knife goes no. stabby family. <laughs> <laughs> We're never no. going to get through this game. No, we won't. It's like hours long. I know. <laughs> <laughs> With a great big slice and a cut from me to you, 
won't you say you stabbed me too? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I need to compose myself. I'm losing it, man. Okay. We're having some water. water. Mm. Oh, yeah, chuck that water. Don't choke. Uh, Don't drown, I guess. Woo. I guess that's what it would be, right? Would it would it be choking on water or drowning on water? Both. Ah, dude. Both. Get, get lightheaded. Just before making the gruesome discovery. <laughs> I do. He saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Murmur, murmur, murmur. Whispering. Oh, dude, you gotta, you gotta be the whisper, whisper, whisper. Thank you. What? Whisper, whisper. <laughs> order! I said order in this court. You need a lot of fries with that, and you gotta behave yourself, or you will not get the Happy Meal toy. You understand me? I'm, I'm stirring my apple pie. Unless you shut up. <laughs> Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. <laughs> Ah, oh, shit, this is bad. Oh, I quit the wrong day to quit smoking. <laughs> oh. I quit, quit the wrong day to start sniffing glue. <laughs> Isn't that what he says? Isn't that what the guy says? Uh, I, 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 that's classic. I just, remember, I just remember him, like, sniffing glue. I don't remember what the line is. On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Sahwit to the stand. That's a fun name. Sahwit. I yeah, say it, it like that. You get the pun? You get the pun? Yeah, because he saw it. I, I got it. I want to hurt myself. Yay. Mr. Sahwit, <laughs> you sell newspaper subscriptions. Is this correct? Oh, oh yes. Newspapers. Yes. Mm -hmm. I sell them. Would you like one? Mr. Sod, you may proceed with your testimony. Please, tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. Don't lie, you're under oath. Witness testimony! Witnesses account. I was going door to door, selling newspaper subscriptions, when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. It was quite shocking. I thought... He must be in a hurry, because he left the door half open behind him. He was letting all the bugs in and everything. Thinking it's strange, I looked inside the apartment. It had nice tapestries. There I saw her lying there. A woman, not moving. Dead! Could you believe it? Oh, gave me a fright. I quailed in fright, and found myself unable to go inside. I was frozen with fear. I thought to call the police immediately. <clears throat> However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. So, naturally, I went to a nearby park and found a public telephone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. <laughs> the man he was running, without a doubt, was the defendant sitting right over there. I'm looking at you. <laughs> Look at you shake over there. Mmm, well, so... <clears throat> Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend you against a testimony like that. Incidentally, uh, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Mm, no. Shut up. <laughs> Go back to sleep. Well, right then. <laughs> okay. Nighty night. It's nappy time. <laughs> nappy time for Judge. Puts chloroform on his face. Shh. Oh my Go God, to sleep. <laughs> <I'm bad. laughs> <laughs> Mr. Payne's coming to pay you a visit. Uh, he's going to pay you a visit. <laughs> but. <laughs> or like the idea of pain just being a, just a psycho. <laughs> yeah, he's just like a murderer on the side. It's a hobby of mine. <laughs> Would you like to see my knives collection? <laughs> I just had this some when I got when I was 
my first knife I got when I turned 13. It was a gift from my father, whom I immediately stabbed with it. That's when I discovered I had an affinity for stabbings. <laughs> yes, you're <Ron. laughs> I'll never forget that day. It, it turned me on so much. And that's when I discovered my life's calling. All right, very well, Mr. Payne. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a trial for you next week. <laughs> However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Sahit used was one of those. Your Honor, I have a record of the blackout for your perusal. Hang on, I'm, I'm getting a phone call. Should I, should I put them on speaker? Um, if they're okay with that, why not? Yellow. Hey. Hey, Walter, can I call you back? We're, we're, we're recording Rem and Dave right now. I can, I can call you back in a couple minutes. Alright. Alright, I'll call you back, man. Alright, that's cool. So, do you want to... Okay, Alright, uh... <clears throat> now, Mr. Wright. Yes. Right, uh, right, right. I, I guess, Your Honor. You may begin your cross-examination. Cross Shut up. Okay. Not now. <laughs> <laughs> it was just it was just pain standing behind him doing a scary voice holding a knife it's like he doesn't even have voices in his head <laughs> he just comes up behind him in the judge's bench <laughs> pain dude what if this entire what if pain is just such a kiss ass to the judge that he just goes up and sits in the booth with him he's like yeah judge maybe he's the guilty <laughs> yeah, you, just whispers yeah, in the judge's ear bang that gap of course he would. He's exactly such, that type of person. You're such a good judge. Yeah, you know you are. Jesus. I bet you, uh, he's like, I bet you have a lot of experience. And he's just like, oh, I do. I bet you're going to make the right worse choice. Worse. <laughs> I bet you're going to make the right choice when it comes to the decision. He's like, hmm, I will. Slips him like a cupcake on the bench <laughs> or something. Oh, I love chocolate. That's yeah, your favorite. No, how'd you know? I've been watching you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the curtains you put up in your bathroom are very nice. Oh, thank you. My wife picked them out. Wait, how did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Cross-examination, Your Honor. Hmm. All right, right. This is it. This is the real deal. The big shebang. The whole enchilada. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Why, you expose the lies in the testimony the witness just gave. You know, like a lawyer. Your lies. job. <laughs> what? He was lying? Like how dense Phoenix Fucking is. Fucking <laughs> I know, right? He's just like, no one would lie. Everybody's so sweet and nice. F Phoenix is <laughs> such a sweetheart. He doesn't, he's so innocent. He doesn't understand the world's a dark place. <laughs> How the hell did you pass the bar exam? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Your client is innocent, right? Then that witness must have lied in his testimony. Or is your client really guilty? Huh, Phoenix? How, how, how do I uh, prove he's, he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. It's right there. So it's the cold one. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. <clears throat> it's so easy. A caveman could do it. There's bound you, to be a contradiction in there somewhere. Trying to sell me insurance now? What is this? <laughs> you say fifteen percent or more when you switch to Geico. She's like, I, I have this. I don't know if this job's gonna work out because you're such a moron. I gotta explore my other options. Yeah, maybe you should try selling insurance. Might be better at that. First, find contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then, once you've found the contradicting evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face! Just rub it right in there! Uh, alright. Okay. <laughs> Chill out there. Just rub, 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 rub! Oh, I've been rubbing um... up stains with OxyClean stains for any future! <laughs> Just go ahead. Court record Rub harder. The... I know you're good at rubbing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Uh, more gameplay controls. Here's how you play the game. Yada yada yada. God, I'm bored. If you keep pressing R, GNTV right now. If you unlock the bonus round, I meant HGTV. I guess we're gonna explore the contradictory evidence next time on Revan Day. Oh man, are we ever gonna get to actual gameplay? No, no, we're not. We're taking. We're almost there. Next episode, we'll next episode we'll play the actual game. Yay, see you there. You know, I played this game by myself when I used to run a solo Let's Play channel. Wow, <laughs> way to plug yourself, Remington. It's dead, don't worry about it. You don't need to subscribe to Remington Steel on YouTube. It's no big deal. <laughs> Sounds like you're trying to get people to subscribe, too. I'm starting to wonder if you're at cross-purposes here. Yeah, that's, that's the whole reason why I'm, I'm joining you is just to plug my own shit. That, that's been dead for years. <laughs>